God bless you. Thank you so much for being on with me today. I want to share something that I believe every person need to at least wait for, um, or when we describe this, is, is being patient uh, for God's good work to be done in our lives. And I, I just want to um, share something that has been uh, a gemstone of really um, maturing in godly character uh, for me personally. Um, the Lord has really made a lot of promises towards my life and the work that God has intentions, um, has intended for me. And sometimes we want to make sure that that work comes now. You know, we want to see it happen because you've been waiting, it seems, for a long time. But recently, you know, the Lord um, has given me this uh, scripture from James chapter 1, verse 4. And I want to read it for you. Um, it says this. It says, but let patience, I'm looking, I'm on the graph, have its perfect work that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. Let patience have its perfect work that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. That is um, really very profound because patience really um, desires time to make us into that man of God, that woman of God that we are to become. Um, God's blessings will come when the perfect work is, is, is done in us because God is, he has goals, he has desires for us even personally before we even um, do his work he's doing a work in us and I want to just really speak to you heart to heart because I know that some of you have quit along the way because you think that God doesn't want to give you anything you possibly are thinking that maybe the word of prophecy is not it's not right um, it's taking too long or you just got angry, you're not patient enough. Um, and I think everybody goes through those feelings. Those are real feelings. But one of the things we need to understand is that um, God is interested in us being made before we do anything for us. My husband always says, it's not what we do for God, it's what God does on the inside of us what we allow him to do in us he's after that and i i totally just you know resonate with that statement because god is is not um he's not a candy man he is really uh trying to bring us back to the time of the garden where our hearts and our worship were perfect um before him he wants us to be perfect in in our ways in our hearts towards him because works can come out of anybody people do that in all kinds of religions and they don't even accomplish anything they don't have any return on that because really they're not even talking to a real god they're not in contact with the living god they're in contact with themselves or some kind of a philosophy some kind of a um, even demonic force out there that is not for their good, but it's really to steal their souls uh, for the eternal uh, separation from God. But I want to just uh, say to you that um, this perfect work is necessary in just about anything. See, I've been praying and fasting and seeking God for revival, and I'm still doing that right now. But there's some things that God is interested in doing in us. Like in order to even have revival, we have to come to that place of perfection. And patience is that tool that is um, being used to, to help us 
to bring us to a completeness, a maturity in God. The things that we need to be actually do effectively so we can finish well. Patience is that um, tool, is that work in progress that will um, bring us to that place of completion. And when we say perfection, is this where God is pleased. It's because only God is perfect and, 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 and only God is, 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 he has all those things that um, can cause us but to, 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 um, to actually begin to understand this whole thing of perfection is that we become like Jesus. And, and he, in essence, when he looks at us, he sees his son. So that is that perfection that, that he is looking for and waiting for, that fruit. Of perfection that looks like Jesus Christ his son and it's up to us as to what we're willing to do to um, to get it are we willing to wait are we willing to endure some things that will help us to actually become perfected in the way that the Lord really means this towards us I know that some of you are out there and you're like I don't know if God is even there anymore I think that you need to really assess the scriptures because um when it comes to the perfect work of god in you there's always a pressing and time is always an issue with the child of god it's never an issue with the unbeliever and i've spoken this a few times before but i'm really convinced that the child of god the problem that he or she will face is the fact that she can't wait or he can't wait and so we end up turning towards the flesh or we end up turning towards something that is detrimental to us because we want a quick fix. And, you know, even when it comes to revival, when we work with people who want revival, sometimes they want to see things happen, but they want the revival, but they don't want anything to happen on the inside. They don't want the character change. They don't want... The, the fact that God is going to deal with them on some issues in their lives that they have been like holding off and they don't want to to change. But they want the, 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 the miracles, they want the salvations, they want the deliverances, but they don't want to be delivered. I, I need to speak on something called get delivered because let me tell you something, this whole thing of patience, really, I'm, I'm beginning to understand that God's blessings of in the ministry cannot come many times. He has certain people mapped out and, and really put aside and set apart to, to, to see the fulfillment of his move in the earth. But the thing is, if God would give you that blessing like now, you would end up dropping the ball. I would end up dropping the ball. And we need to really think about are we able to handle the pressures of blessings? Because blessings come with pressures. It comes with haters. People who don't want you to succeed. People who are jealous of you. People who are who actually hate you because they think that they are better than you are. People who think that maybe they should be the ones used because they're more anointed. But this has nothing to do with um, God's agenda or God's purpose and plan. He, he said he'll have mercy on whomever he will have mercy. And when it comes to the blessings of God, we don't choose uh, God in that and say, well, I want to be blessed. God chooses us according to John. And so I'm, I'm saying to us, like we need to come to a place now we, where we need to have let patience have its perfect and complete work in us so that we will be complete at that end so that God can see Christ in us so that when the devil comes in to attack us and put pressure on us that we will have a response that's pleasing to the Father there are so many things that we want now and this is the generation the times that we live in we want instant gratification and that doesn't work with heaven because heaven it took time for Jesus to come think about this this thing happened in Genesis where the fall took place but look at how long God took loving on the generation generation after generation people after people um so you know nation after nation making himself known through the Jews and then manifesting himself to them and even then the Jews some of the Jews did not even accept Jesus as Messiah they crucified him <coughs> 
And so this thing of whole, let patience have its perfect work so that we can be complete. This thing is powerful. And I'm receiving that now in the name of Jesus. And I just declare right now in Jesus' name, wherever you are, that the Lord will give you a grace to be patient before you take on ministry of a higher level or a higher anointing or a call that is a step up from where you are. God is looking for you and for me to be patient and to endure some suffering, to endure some trials so that we can be complete and that we can have finish our work well. We can finish this life well because every blessing has some kind of a um, hater that comes with it. And they're devils that are, are, are set against the work and the plan and the prophecy that has been spoken over your life. So understand that every time the blessing comes, that there is more devils that come with that blessing to attack you and to make sure they stop you. If they could not stop you before, when you're in it, they're going to either push you forward or push you back. And so, the thing, or stand you still. They'll push you forward too fast, where you will end up doing something too quickly, and we may not be mature enough to handle it, and so we will fall, and we won't be a good testimony to the Lord Jesus Christ on behalf of the kingdom of God. And so, when we talk about patience, this is like fruit right here, that fruit in the character so that we can actually be able to wait on God to do this thing, to perfect His work in us, His spiritual work. There are things in us that we don't even see in our character that can mar the testimony of God and the kingdom of God would be put to shame. And I'm praying right now, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you would help us to recognize when you're telling us to wait and to be patient concerning even the blessings, the huge blessings that we're praying for and believing for. I, I know that, that there, there are things right now and, and, and that even our team have been praying for. I know we're up on the brink of it, but I'm also listening to the Father. I'm, 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 I'm listening very carefully as to what it is that He is saying to me right now. Because this, this thing needs to be done properly, decently, and in order. And, and, and that will bring glory and honor to His name. And so I, I pray for you right now. If you may have something that you are waiting for in prayer. If you may have been seeking God and saying, God, I just need this breakthrough. I need you to turn this situation around for me. And you haven't seen it come yet. Let patience have its perfect work in you that that which god you know is wants to do that that would be complete and that would be perfected because that thing that god is doing in you whatever he gives to you the thing that he does in you is going to combat and allow you to keep those very blessings that he has conferred over your life and over your family over whatever situation, whatever ministry that you are believing God for. He is about to do something that is going to bring honor and glory to his name. And he's going to use you as the instrument. But as that instrument, let the Lord do his perfect work in your heart and in your life. I want to thank the Lord for showing this to me. Because it is, uh, sometimes it can be frustrating when you are waiting on the Lord and you are praying and seeking God for ministry opportunity doors, not, not so much the ministry opportunity, but in a sense of um, even the, just to uh, an opportunity to be able to do more uh, for myself in a sense of a facility, waiting on God and trusting God for that. And Lord, how will you make it happen? And who will be a blessing to this work? Because there are people also out there that's supposed to be a blessing to your work, but they're not even, um, their faith is not even where it's supposed to be to be givers. Some of them are stingy and they are really financially blessed. Some of them are just like, they don't see the vision um, beyond, the, the, they have the, the resource, but they don't have a vision 
even to sow into because their hearts and their minds are stunted and looking upon the blessing instead of looking who he can bless or she can bless or they can bless in the kingdom of God so that the kingdom can be enlarged and people can come in. There are lots of people who don't even, they're not there yet they're to even bless you. And so God has to do his perfect work in you call patience with this tool of patience that produces character, that produces fruit in us so that we, when that blessing comes, we can give glory and honor to the Lord God. I want to thank you, Jesus, for the opportunity that you have given to reveal this thing to my heart. Because the afflictions, as many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them out of them all. But that deliverance, even out of the hard times that come upon you, even when you get a blessing, that deliverance is because of patience working a good work and a complete work in you and me. And so if, we, if that is undone, then it doesn't matter what God will ever do through us. We won't be a testimony enough to give him glory. And I want to just tell you to hold on. I want to tell you to, to, to have faith in God. I want to tell you to release yourself fully to Jesus. Do not lean upon your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. He's directing you right now, just even through this broadcast, because his goal is to get you to a place where dependency is key for you. Father, I just pray for the release of a heart that is willing to just give all. We give ourselves, we cast our cares upon you because you love us. And you care for us not to fall. You care for us not to be cast down by the struggles and the afflictions of this life because, Lord, we are not able to handle waiting for the good work to be complete in us so that when the blessing comes, we can hold on to it. We don't drop the ball. God, I pray that release over brothers and sisters, God, who are in ministry, pastors and leaders, God, who may have, Lord, have so many dreams. And Lord God, it's taken time, but nothing that is good and, 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 and perfect, the perfect will of God is ever quick and easy. And, and it doesn't just come in an instant. But it takes time to really uncover and to unfold that. It took time for Jesus to come and manifest himself. And to really begin to do something that, the, that was in the heart of the Father from Genesis. I'm telling you, he is the lamb that was slain before the sins of the world. But the manifestation took a while for man to be able to handle that and to receive him. And even the timing of him going to the cross... There's a timing of him because he had to also be worked in to this fiber, this fabric of the earth and to even grow up next to us and to be able to die for us. It took time. There are things that you're going to do on behalf of the ministry that you represent that it will take some time for you to be known as that person who has laid everything down for the kingdom of God. The work of God on behalf of the heaven needs to be represented by someone who has patiently endured and just waited for God to do that thing in him or her or myself. Like I am not talking just to talk. I'm talking because God is processing me. And these are the great greatest broadcasts, not just something that say, okay, I understand this truth because, you know, I read it in the word and there are levels of truth that come to you. This is a revelation that I need right now in my life. This is a revelation that is something that, you know, I could overlook it, but I don't want to do that because I understand the power of patience, the power of the blessing that comes upon you in, in anointing when you wait. Anointed, because God also anoints you to receive the blessing. He anoints you to say yes. 
He anoints you to lay your life down for people and just let them see Christ in you. And that, that takes time. It's not something that is easy. It doesn't, it's, it's not like, you know, putting on a shirt and taking it off. This is something that God gives you in your spirit, man. And it takes time to be able to, um, to receive that. And, to be, to, and God will speak some things to you when he gives you the blessing and say, this is what I need you to do in order for this blessing to really transfer a message to the people around us that we serve, that we have to lay down some things. I want to just pray with you lastly before I go. But I want you to not let go of the beauty of working and letting patience being worked in your character, in your womanhood, in your manhood. I don't know where you are with God, but I pray that if you're discouraged, that the Lord will lift you up today, that he will strengthen your heart, that he will give you peace, that he will help you to understand how impactful this is going to be as you wait on the Lord. Be of good courage and he will strengthen your heart. I pray that his love would reach out to you in this time where you feel defeated, where you, the enemy has made you feel like God's not working. That's a lie from the pit of hell. And I undo that lie right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I release angels about you to encourage you and to bear you up so that you will continue on with the vision once again. I pray that the Lord's grace would fulfill your soul. Inside of your soul, you'll have a knowing in your being that you are meant to live in this time. And the blessing of the Lord that's coming to you is not because of you, but because of Christ in you, the hope of glory for the entire world that needs to see this thing. I pray that the Lord will be the lifter of your head and the encourager of your heart, that you will be a walking revivalist and that wherever you go, you will stir up God's people to do more for Christ, that you'll cause them to lay their lives down. You'll cause them to not repeat the history of sleep and, 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 and slackness, but that they would now begin to arise and begin to do the will of God to its full. And that they will know that there is a reward that will not tarnish, it will not fade, it does not come from this life, but it comes from above. That you will also understand that your name is written in the book of life, not just for salvation, but your name is written in the realm of the spirit. Your name is known in the realm of the spirit because of the power that lies in you. Because you're willing to wait and let patience have its perfect work that you might be a complete person. And that God might see his son Jesus Christ in you and in me. God bless you so much. This has been Tanya coming on with Heart of Fire. Heart on Fire. I love you and thank you. Stay tuned with me. And you can also find me on, on YouTube as well as Facebook. You can check us out. Stay with us. God is doing a good work. Don't miss it. You are a walking revivalist. You are the fire that God wants to enhance and to increase in the earth. God bless you. Love you. This is Tanya. Bye-bye.